Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Storm here. Tom here. We are watching more of The Orville today, episode six. Last episode, we found out that time travel is a thing. Well, was a thing until they destroyed it. That one wormhole, there could be more, but who knows? Maybe who there's knows? other ways to travel, but... Only time will tell. Oh, oh, oh. See? <laughs> see how I went there? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. And practical jokes can be taken too far. Especially for people who don't really understand the culture. Well, a at least they brain. had the medical technology to do it correctly instead of just ripping his leg off. <laughs> you can just grow another limb. You can grow your leg back and hopefully it's just as good, if not better, than your old leg. Because holy crap. Shall we get into this episode and we'll talk let's about it after? It. Yeah, let's do it. I am fascinated by the interpersonal behavior of biological organisms. I would be happy to attempt sexual relations with you, Lieutenant. Oh my! <laughs> Is that possible? I'm actually just sort of working on myself right now. Uh, <laughs> I think you'd be more like a giant dildo. <laughs> what is that? Well, you never seen sushi? It's a regional dish from mm. Earth. Raw fish. I don't like the sabi, though. Try it? No offense. No, wait, that's wait, wait, Oh! Oh! I think the whole clump of wasabi. Ah. You gotta be kidding me. He just... He Nicole, just everyone I know loves Dude, wasabi. Okay? I am feeling no discomfort. He no. likes spices. If I ain't half that much, I'd be throwing up and crying in it. Because of our planet's harsh climate, my species evolved to draw nourishment from a wide variety of organic and inorganic matter. Wait, so you can eat anything? Oh no. Oh, they're things. gonna test this. Can you eat this napkin? Oh no. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Oh boy. One cactus plant. No, it has, it's sharp. Like a tough palate. Oh, come on, Gordon. Don't. He's gonna hurt himself. And then the glass, too. He's gonna eat the whole thing. Oh! oh. <laughs> what about this glass? He can eat anything. Oh, oh, oh my god! This is gonna be a fun thing. It's gonna be a fun thing. Call. Report to the bridge. We're gonna come back to this. I'm gonna attack you. Wow, they're so much bigger. <laughs> Why is everything so much bigger? No damage. I'm like pressing a base of action. I have to stand there. I know. Especially if they have more advanced technologies. Automatic fire suppression. That's the panel that caught fire. <laughs> and if we Oh, whoa! We're nice! He's like completely obliterated the ship. Yeah. Sweet! Like, <laughs> took out all their torpedoes, though. Count it, Tom. You're on, sir. Caster 4, this is Captain Ed Mercer of the USS Orville. What is your condition? Other way, Tom. Captain, this is Mighty huh? Chief Lydecker. Other way. We got hit hard. There are dozens of casualties. <laughs> 19 people already confirmed dead. All right, stand by. We're sending help. Mercer out. Bridge to sick bay. Dr. Finn, assemble a medical team. Aye, sir. Ed. Look. <gasps> it remains. The escape pod? Go the spoils. Ah. Hmm. Yeah, is that a, an escape pod or just a suction that... Like a bunker inside the ship <laughs> that survived. The bigger version of the Orville. Yeah, yeah. This is a game changer. An it's intact, trouble. functioning krill shuttle. Every Ooh. once in a while I get lucky. It's just floating out there in the wreckage. Ah, uh, it's a trap. Imagine the Union Engineering Corps is going to have a field day pulling this thing apart. I'm sure they would. But we have a different planet. Ooh, I like her hair like that. That's cool. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Everyone, just stay calm. Is he in the shuttle? What do you want? Which one of you is Bordas? Sounds like Bordas. <gasps> Why does he want Bordas? I want you to eat this. I yeah, right? I want you to eat my web. No way! Okay, it does sound like Bordas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, God. Your face is was freaking priceless. That, was that. Oh, that could have been so here? bad. Someone could have shot him. 
is hilarious. They're oh miniature holographic generators, courtesy of Isaac. We can fool their eyes and their bioscanners. Ed, they're sending you into enemy space and you're acting like it's some big <laughs> joke. <laughs> oh crap, you know what we forgot to do? What? We forgot to come up with Krill names. Oh my god, you're right, Ted. What do Krill listen. names sound like? I don't know. I don't think anybody knows. Probably exotic and alien. Probably, yeah, like Quars Noth. Like that kind of thing. Zang, Tozan, Kreulok. Steen. <laughs> Probably not Steen. No, not Steen. Like a Haj, Valorp, Fruzen, Galaja. Hagendaz. Hagendaz. Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Devin. Oh my god. Those are strange names. Oh yeah, not like Harrow's. Hey, listen, thank you so much for rescuing us. We've been through an ordeal. What happened to the Kekov? It was destroyed in a battle with a Union ship, the Orville. We were the only two survivors. We barely escaped with our lives. Yeah, they must have had a crazy good pilot to meet the moves on this guy. We, we just never had a chance. Strange that you were the only survivors. Well, There's someone else. We were conducting maintenance on a shuttle. Buddies for life. Devin and Arnok. Darnok. They called us. Strange, he never spoke of you. You say you were close. Oh man, yeah. Yeah, we... We used to take baths together. Oh my gosh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I do know that he really loved his sister. That is good to hear. I know Avis will protect his eternal soul. Yeah, he's... He's got the gold membership now. Shh, he's not waiting in any lines, going right to his car. <laughs> right to his car? <laughs> Oh my god. Stand up. A blessed evening. Tamim Emadi. Tamim Emadi. Oh my god. This human was captured during the taking of the colony on oh Jara my god. 3. Oh, he's gonna stab the head? Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Don't look away, you're not supposed to. Oh, he keeps stabbing. Oh, gross. Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> Oh no, is he gonna like <laughs> Come on. second episode? He already has uh, another date. You have always had a suspicious nature, my friend, but then you have earned that right. If it will set your mind at ease, this is Captain Harrows. Place a guard on the chapel. Yes, Captain. Oh crap. Thank you, my lord. Better start oh, doing some studying. Oh no. Oh no! The battery's wearing out. What's happening? My comm scanner's acting funny. <gasps> How long was that supposed to last? The emitters. Dude, you look like you. Oh crap. Better hide somewhere. I'll try yours. <gasps> Oh, that sucks. Go, 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 go! Shadows? Oh no, you heard it! Ooh, they're so fast. Back to your quarters yeah, for now. Now they're in the open ship, though. Yeah, I'm hoping they can get back to the quarters with no interruptions. That's their slogan. <laughs> I'm sorry again about your brother. It is difficult. But in his death, I have found further confirmation of my faith. In what way? What you, the Ancona teaches that that which is not of Krill is without soul. The truth of those words was reinforced when the Union killed my brother. We will be carrying. 
carrying out the will of Avis when we destroy Rana 3. Yes, I've been told of our holy mission. The bomb is very impressive. Devon and I were wondering how it works. We've never seen anything like it. It is a prototype neutron field generator. It can destroy all life on a continent in a matter of minutes. Rana 3 wow. will be the first test. Uh -oh. Rana 3 is a farming colony. They have no defenses. An ideal site. Yes. Yikes. This is gonna be a big deal. Trainees to attention. Oh, oh there's so little. Lots of kids on board. Yeah. That's gonna change things. Yeah. Oh no. Why doesn't the Union believe in Avis? Well, they worship their own god called Hertz. Hertz <laughs> assholes. <laughs> of course. Oh my god, he will get off that. Then how can they talk? Or make spaceships? A computer can talk. That does not mean it has a soul. Well, if we could induce a power surge, probably as much as you want. Why? Sunlight. For a species that evolved in darkness, sunlight would be deadly. You remember when we fought the Krill on Epsilon 2? They wore helmets. We always assumed it was a military affectation, but it's not. They were protecting themselves from sunlight. Oh my god. They're space vampires. <laughs> <laughs> Amplified the UV end of the spectrum. They'd fry, and we'd just get a bad sunburn. What about the kids? We can blow out the lights in the classroom. We just have to make sure we do it when they're all inside. Dude. We're vampire hunters. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Alright, well, at least they're getting a plan together. <laughs> Where's Buffy? Oh my god. Jessica loves Buffy. She would watch that all the time in you college. You would look good on this wall. A black velvet painting of Avis. Yes, that would be good. <gasps> Ooh, okay, game on. Can't take that back. Put him in the closet. There you <laughs> go. Perhaps you wish to explain why you are in possession of a... Uh-oh. It's, uh... It's a toy. A toy? Yeah, yeah, I'm part of this... Cosplay group. <laughs> Do you know what cosplay is? Search him. Oh no. They're gonna find the emitter. Oh crap. And what is this? <gasps> oh crap! God he's gonna press the button, he's gonna Oh no, he's gonna say we look. Yeah, my family sucks. <gasps> Dang. Sound the alarm. Find the other one immediately and bring this one to the captain. I mean, yes, it sort of became about that, but I swear to you. No! Hey, that's his leg that he just grew back. It's a brand new leg! Yeah, no! Yeah. Uh oh. At least they're gonna kill him. Yeah. We gotta get out of here. Come on! Where are we going? Come on! See, Kosha now has some information if he survives, he's gonna tell everyone else. Yeah, but he might not know exactly where it is. I mean, yeah. the weapon is ready for launch, Captain. Go, 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 go! Fire! <gasps> now, how do you stop it? Wow, yeah. Holy crap, no kidding. Oh, jeez. Wow, that's a big weakness. Holy smokes. Literally. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's sunburned. Ow, ow, ow. But once he's back on the Orville, he can probably heal fast. Oh, sweet, good. At least he knew how to fire the weapons. Yeah, right? Ow, 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 ow. What's your name, Talia? Ed, are you alright? She's never gonna forgive you for that, though. I'm okay. So are the kids. 
but all your parents are dead. <laughs> yeah. What's yeah, that's true. Yeah. Who are you? Okay. Now don't be mad. <laughs> <laughs> when we start a conversation like that, don't be mad. But we got a prize. And now you're prisoners. Say you're perfectly healthy. There's no tissue damage and no signs of UV exposure. Doctor, if you're through with your examination, I'll take her to the break. This is who I really am. I was wondering if you'd have the courage to face me again. I'd like a moment alone with her. Captain, I think I should stay. It's fine, Lieutenant. Wait outside. Your crew was going to murder a hundred thousand people. What the hell else could I have done? Why did you save the children? They're kids. With their whole lives ahead of them, they're not my enemies. After what they saw you do today? You just made some. They will be. They will be. They. Will She's be. not wrong. Nope. Endless cycle. <laughs> I like how they're just carrying it like that. Hey, that flew by. Oh, they got a big prize now. Yeah. Not the way they wanted it to go, but the mission was a success. I mean, they saved a lot of lives. They have a krill ship, and it probably has their Bible on board still. Oh, it should. Um, yeah, so now they actually have Plus a physical they got the photocopies copy. too. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's actually a major win. You know, I mean, I wish they could make peace, but I'm glad. It's gonna take um, a long time. It's gonna, if, if yeah, it's gonna take a long time. And then Talia, um, I like her character so far. I like seeing that with different, you know, species, different cultures, where. You hear one thing, and the krill so far, they're hostile, they're violent, every, they're better than everyone else, they have advanced technology, so you just think that they're mean and cruel, but then you learn the inner workings a little bit, and yes, that is the case, but it's the way they're brought up, and there is some hope that there is good there, like they do care for their kind to a certain extent and especially in i'll get her name talia i said it many times but um especially with talia you know i really think she is compassionate but everyone is just you know so brainwashed by their religion that's a, it's a young age maybe right when they're born you know they're oh, i can't say taught. they're brainwashed but they're that's that's how they've been they've been brought up and taught their entire life yeah their entire generations it seems like yeah. So how do you how do you change that? Like that's definitely not easy. Well, you gotta love Gordon and how he works in his uh, Avis car rental details in there. Nonstop. Like those jokes were so funny. They kept coming, and I enjoy that a lot. Like you have to really like pay attention sometimes. Where I'm like, are you kidding me? He keeps bringing up the cars. But no, that was that was awesome, and I like the idea of their um, holographic technologies. And I mean, it made it easier instead of trying to put on a suit because that wouldn't be as believable. Or to be so, surgically altered, you know. Yeah. Right. I mean, I'm really happy they didn't have to do any of that craziness. But um, to use these like holographic suits was epic, and I like how that was introduced again, keeping a good balance with the humor where he came in like a krill taking over the ship and they were just pulling a prank haha <laughs> again in the beginning <laughs> of this episode to introduce that technology to but us you know, so that you was know, fun when Gordon came in like that he acted more krill than he did on the krill ship <laughs> I know it was like I mean again I, I noticed with a few comments when we first started watching the show some people were like really nitpicking the realism but you know this show has a lot of you know serious tones to it but like the humor and stuff is supposed to be a lot lighter and certain things we're not supposed to overthink you kind of just go with it and if you let certain nitpicking go it, it's it's a whole lot of fun and they do pay well, attention I, to a I lot of like if you compare this show to like star trek let's say star trek has a very serious tone most of the time yeah. and they do have some humor here and there but it's not usually during a crisis mm -hmm. um here it in the middle of a crisis, you still have like Gordon throwing in all these jokes and stuff. So I think that's where people get kind of, you know, iffy Thrown with it. Thrown off. Yeah. And but I mean, some people, when they get, you know, into stressful situations, it, it, it makes it easier 
to throw in a joke to to break the tension. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And again, like I get this style, I guess, and I enjoy it. So them like just being their normal selves is just entertaining. And again, it's like light humor kind of thing, and it's just supposed to be funny. So. I, in a realistic situation, if this ever did happen, um, I would think the Krill would catch on right away that their mannerisms are too odd and they would be suspicious like everyone would be right from the start and they wouldn't have the freedom of having their own, you know, chamber to sleep in and uh, they probably would be like caged and interrogated or something. But, but I just like the freedom of just having fun, like keeping some parts light where you can just laugh at it and then you get shocked with something serious too. And, you know, having that mix or balance of like them going to like this chapel and, you know, having this ceremony and then stabbing the amputated head, you know, that was, or the de amputated, well, but, I guess um, yeah, it the is amputated decapitated head, seeing that, you know, that, that was disgusting, but I mean, the makeup work was done very well. Like that looked like oh, a I, real I head. Love, and, I, I know I've, well, I know I've said it in, in an earlier episode that, but the krill makeup is just fantastic. I agree. You know, there's a lot of detail in it and the captain of the krill vessel he, he he had those little things underneath his eyes. Like spiky. Yeah, those things, that was really yeah. cool. And just to seeing how all the different, you know, every krill head would look different. And that's I like what made that. It cool. You mentioned that yes early on, and that was the first time like seeing the krill like that. I I I was like, oh well, they look like they're all the same, you know, because it was the first episode I think too. So. Um, it was still well done, but it was very brief, and I don't think it was up close that I saw the krill. But they had, like, I think maybe two or three different ones, and they kind of look similar. And I think, and, and maybe that was just me, like, not seeing it. But this time around, oh, yeah, they're all so different. So there was a lot of time and thought put into um, them as individuals to make them look like a completely different, like, all individuals of a species. And I think that's... Um, pretty impressive like I, I thought it was very realistic and and then the jokes that ed would say about oh we're getting our chin spikes waxed Wax. or whatever like is it's that chin even a horns. thing or chin oh. horns yeah um i like the silly humor there and again like that's not a thing that well i mean make it up so they don't go along yeah, they don't know what they do so i mean they just kind of had to say something you know i know and the fact that no one really questions anything they kind of just look at them funny like oh you know because i know they um, are so advanced, the Krill are, and having such a backwards and religion is a big thing, I get it, but... According to their Bible and their beliefs, you know, it's like, everything is for the Krill, apparently. So it's like, when they go to another planet and they... That makes and it easy. Those resources, they have a right to those resources. Yeah. So if that means wiping everybody out, that means that's, that's a divine way, you know, that's just how they have to gather the resources. And it's just so yeah. crazy that they succeeded in these high advanced technologies over the years and they just go back to like this basic way of thinking of like, we deserve everything and just this like blindness, like this blind arrogance of like, we're better than everyone else. Well, we can take whatever they, we well, want. That's, that's where it comes from though. They, they, they're not blinded to it, but they're told, they're taught that, uh, you know, every species is inferior to them and everything that everybody else has they have a claim to it mm -hmm. because it's the, because Ava says so. I know. Yeah, so. it's dangerous. It's very dangerous. Yeah, so um, the Krill, I like that we're actually learning more about them. It's episode six, um, but to have all these other adventures before we even get to learn about the Krill, I like that. So it's just really giving us a piece of everything instead of just like one focus, you know? Right. Um, so it keeps it very interesting and it makes me realize like how big and beautiful spaces and how scary spaces <laughs> yeah there's a lot of people out there yeah and ed going on all these missions especially like him and kelly like they're the top people on this starship and to put their own lives at risk all the time it just shows like how much of a family how close everyone is that they're all equal and having the captain like put his life at risk all the time you know to I get well, like the stories about him, but it's just impressive to see that, and especially in this episode. Like this was such a huge risk for the captain and for Gordon well, I mean, to go. A mission like this being such a high-profile mission, 
you kind of need somebody with the experience like a captain. Mm -hmm. But I mean, Kelly was right too that there should be there is somebody more, you know, experienced as far as um, we call them a spy, I guess, but someone who can invent in, in, infiltrate another species. This got to be somebody more qualified for that than Ed. But yeah, it was he was there now, and like like the admiral said. You know, we don't have time to wait. It's like the you know, the longer we wait, the, the more they're not going to know this vessel's been missing. Yeah. You know? See, that's what's so hard because they want to make peace. But how do you make peace when you just blew up their ship? And again, well, that, I get why the... they did it, but that's like the hard thing. Like, I don't know if you can reason with the Krill because you guys are just completely different. Well, and this that's... is like many, 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 many years in the making. Different. But, but this is why... Their main focus was to get the Ankana because they're hoping to find something where they can go through a religious aspect of finding peace. Okay, we're just going to alter this a little bit and put like humans are also blessed by your. Well, God. I mean, no, it's they're going to have to just you know decipher it and try to figure out like a loophole. Yeah, know? you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, but you know what they they have Krill on board. I know they're going to release the kids soon. Um, but I think it's good that they have them there because maybe they can, you know, learn from each other at least and um, be a little bit more open minded and ask more questions. Well, it's not going to be a simple fix, that's for sure. It's not. Like, it definitely won't be, but there is a little hope there that people can be open minded and learn for the better. And then that one kid who kept seeking out Ed and asking questions. Koja? Yeah, I was really worried about him. Like, trying to find out where Earth was. Not that he had ill intentions there, but I was like, oh, that's going to come back later because it seems so innocent. And it yeah, is but right a, now. A but kid then trying to pick out. To... But a kid trying to remember exactly what star, you know, is the one that. I mean, in Gordon just looking out of a star in, in an area of space he hasn't been to, how does he know that's it? I mean, he's probably just pointing out there, just saying, it's that one. I mean, you know, definitely he might be. He, he might be. I feel like the way that he was talking, he sounded very, like, proud of it. So I'm like, well, maybe he is actually showing them. But uh, uh, just, maybe not. I don't know. But I, don't know. Um, to, I mean, not. to me, like, you you point your finger in one direction. That little bit of fingertip is covers a lot sick. of space out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And things are constantly in motion. So things are moving. And yeah. So, um, but yeah. So anyways, um, I have a different perspective on that. And, um, you know, the kid was innocent and he was asking a lot of questions. So asking all those questions might be a good thing because then he'll start challenging you know his you know but who knows after beliefs. this this incident if his ideals will change that's the thing too because now they made enemies because they killed everyone on board well, and i'm the, sure the some humans, parents were on board well the humans i was interested in you know now they just killed everybody on board and exactly i guarantee you those kids had some kind of relative on there otherwise why would they be on a vessel yeah, I mean, unless, again, like, we don't know the culture, so maybe they just, like, take all the kids um, on different ships to school them and to learn what it's like. Maybe, maybe all Krill have to go into space Possible. eventually become warriors. Who, who knows? But, yeah, I would assume that they definitely have family on board, parents you know, or someone. I would say probably parents or to. siblings or something, but, you know, I mean, at least they're, they're, the union is not holding them. They're going to be sending them back somehow. Which is a big statement, but still, like... They murdered the crew, and they also destroyed that ship beforehand, so that's not good either. But, yeah, it's very, very complicated and very interesting, and um, I like Ed and Gordon working together. They're funny. Their banter's great. <laughs> and then Kelly being so concerned. Like, I know Kelly and Ed really do care for each other, maybe even love each other still, but relationship-wise, it doesn't seem to work, as we know from the past, but even them living together in the zoo for a bit, they were at each other's throats a bit. Um, but as like just partners in general, like professionally and stuff, they're really good and they, well, yeah, professionally they're good personally, maybe not so much. Yeah. They really care for each other, but they're just not good in a relationship, like a intimate relationship kind of thing. But love the show guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, please comment below to help other people engage on our channel and to get more views and we will see you soon. Bye guys. You later. And I will talk high pitch. Oh my god! <laughs> like you go high pitch for a second. Wh wh wait, why do you get so high pitched? <laughs> what? I didn't. <laughs> oh, I didn't. See you soon. See you soon. <laughs>